first place that we visited had um, nothing on the floors. They were, they were small children, many of them under the age of five, uh, who were segregated from their parents and were crying. Here they actually have a mat on which to sleep. But it is, for all intents and purposes, um, a prison. It's, they're cages. Something happened this morning that I will never forget. Um, my colleagues from Connecticut and four of us are here, approached one of these holding cells, and there were just mounds of silver mylar. And we asked to speak to somebody who was there. And as they opened the door, these 20 or 30 mounds of silver mylar became little girls. They stood up. They were scared. Some had been crying. Uh, I can't help but think, is, uh, is this the art of the deal? Is this the art of the deal? There isn't anything artful. There isn't anything really lawful about it. And uh, it really is murky trying to uh, call out where due process comes in. I can't tell you. I've asked the questions. I don't know. I have a grandson who we adopted 11 years ago from Guatemala. And as I look in those cages, and I see these little tykes on the floor covered in mylar, and I see a little boy, and I pointed to my staff person who was here with that same dark hair, and those teeth were exactly the same. It was my tail who was there on the ground. You know, we've had our, our interstate highway for the last couple of days stopped by Border Patrol, asking people 90 miles from the border in the state of Maine to show their papers. It, it gives people this sense of foreboding. First, what is the president up to? Why are we being asked all over the country suddenly to show our papers? And why is he separating children from their parents at the border? All right, Mike, you want to start? Sure, why not? Uh, Mike Capuano from Massachusetts. I want to echo everything Jackie just said. I want to be real clear. 